another day in the junkyard. Let's see what we can find. Okay, today we're going to get the seat belts uh, to put my uh, so my third row will have seat belts. For some reason, my third row doesn't have seat belts. Uh, when we purchased it, like I said, it was a law enforcement vehicle, and I guess they just didn't um, have those in there for some reason, or took them off for some reason, so they just weren't there. So, uh, you know, the, found that out and decided I was going to go ahead and get some belts. So I started rummaging around in here and actually found this one hiding down here in this bulkhead, but it doesn't have the bolts to hold it up there or the bolts to hold it uh, down here. So I need to get some bolts for that. Also, as you see in here, there is not the lower buckle, so I need to get a lower buckle. And as you can see over here, there's nothing. And I already checked inside that bulkhead, and there's not one for the left side, so I'll need to get a whole new unit for that. So, uh, here at the junkyard today to uh, try to pick some of those things up and get these this third row back into service. So I do the whole minimalist thing, uh, go in with as little as I can. Right here is uh, my multi-tool Lennox, multi-tool screwdriver. It's got a bunch of different, uh, you know, uh, bit drivers in here, uh, Phillips, flathead, square and whatnot, and a bunch of different sizes as well as these. Uh, here on the end, after you take the bit out, is also a uh, like a nut driver. I got my uh, 3 8 inch ratchet here, and I know that I'm going to need a T50 uh, since I'm going to be working on the seat belts, so I got that, and a 17 millimeter socket because those are quite common working with them as well, and I may need a extension, so I got all that. So I'm just throwing this in my pocket, that way I don't have to carry that big old thing around, and if I need anything, I always come back out, get it, you know, to go do the job, but kind of knowing what I need first off, you know, to start out with. That way I don't have to lug in so much. So that's just the way I do it, kind of the minimalist way. So we're looking for an 03 Expedition according to what's on there. So there's an 03 Ford, but that's obviously Explore. Battery box is on the right. There it is. 03 Ford. It's obviously an Expedition. Battery boxes there on the left, a couple other things about it too, even though it doesn't have a nameplate on it. That's the one we're looking for. That and I already knew it. It was in here a couple weeks ago. That was me right there getting that out, tearing all that apart to get to a uh, uh, air conditioning uh, uh, vacuum line. That was out of another one. I was comparing it to that one. There you go. That's one that got here. Oh, it's already got the uh, lift gate up. It's been very helpful. Let's see here. I'm after that bolt. I'm after another bolt that's down here. You can either take this off. It's out screw right there. You don't have to though because you should be able to get to it right there and there's some other things I need in here while I'm at it I need that entire unit so I'm gonna have to get this off or get in there somehow get to everything that I need Ended up getting that out of the way just to make it a little bit easier to get to this one. So you can see it's coming up no problem now. Why well, these cars are dirty inside? And right, now the other side.
Okay, so to get to that last bolt that's right there, you have to take that entire piece off. There it is. I'm not a fan of breaking stuff uh, that people could possibly use, but uh, it's kind of an accident trying to get it out of there and it just wouldn't budge. So I ended up breaking right there so I could get to that. And I tried to do it through that hole right there, uh, but really couldn't get the right angle on it. So uh, let's go ahead and get that one off so we can get the uh, reel off. So another thing I need is those uh, two connections right there where your buckles go and uh, it's held in right here so you just take that out and should be able to get that out real easy. Okay, so I got this is everything I got in there. I got the two bolts uh, for that one, and I got the uh, new seat belt for the left side here, and I got um, the um, buckle in part right here for the bottom uh, that I didn't have. So uh, one thing I didn't mention while you were in while I was in there was you need to make sure these work real good, and uh, you know click them back and forth, and uh, you know there's no problem. I'll go ahead and do one real quick. So there it hold it and then it released it so you know want to check those before you actually purchase them and then another thing you need to be aware of is if this as you can tell right there I don't know how well you can tell but it's locked up that's no big deal when these go all the way in like that they do get locked out so uh, there's a trick to that you do just hold it in the vertical uh, position like it would be installed and then just gradually uh, pull it out of there, give it some slack, and then let it loose, and it'll uh, eventually let loose on you. So it's no big deal if those lock up on you. So that's everything I got, and didn't have to pay a whole lot for it. So, you know, going to the junkyard can save you a lot of money in getting these, and uh, can, in this particular case, can put these seat belts back into commission, so that's good. So this was my video uh, going to the junkyard and uh, getting some parts to... Uh, get my car back into service, rear seatbelts back into service. Thanks for watching.